pressure is building for the Olympics to be canceled. But here on the ground in Tokyo, final preparations appear to be underway. With just less than two months to go until the Olympics, the organizers are pushing ahead in the face of public opposition with the games very much in operational mode. So behind me here is the venue being built for BMX racing and skateboarding. This venue can hold potentially thousands of spectators. Now we know already that foreign spectators are banned from attending the Olympics, but organizers have yet to announce how many local spectators, if any, can attend the games. Over there are the spectator stands being built for marathon swimming and the triathlon. This is all temporary just for the Olympic Games. I'm here in Odaiba Marine Park, which is normally open to the public, but now it's been largely boarded off in preparation for the Games. I spoke to one of the construction workers here who told me he does not think the Olympic Games should move ahead. Infections are rising during the pandemic, he tells me. I wonder if what I'm doing is good for the people, preparing for the Olympics, he says. But it's my job to work under the assumption that the games are going ahead. Tokyo is planning large Olympic viewing sites across the city, including one here at Yoyogi Park, as this sign indicates. But amid public opposition, the government now says this will be used as a vaccination site. Japan has fully vaccinated less than 3% of its population. People here are not protected. I don't think we should have it. I think every, everyone I know in Tokyo is scared to death of people from all over the world coming. But others in Tokyo are more optimistic. I'm really looking forward to the Olympics, she says. People are down because of the pandemic. We need something fun. This national stadium where the opening and closing ceremonies will be held was rebuilt at a cost of more than $1 billion for these Olympic Games. In fact, Japan has already spent more than $6 billion on Olympic infrastructure like venues and temporary buildings. The economic cost of canceling these games would be enormous. But at stake here is not just money and Japan's national pride, but people's lives. Selena Wang, CNN, Tokyo.